Shalom, brothers and sisters, when the much chitoche, greetings, Shalom. Um, we're still in the sabbatical Torah portion, uh, Ikev, Ikev, and it's a very interesting, this whole, you know, this whole year, this, 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 this cipher, the cycle of Torah portion readings, if you've been um, following up on it or studying, and we hope that that Jai's open up your eyes and you begin to see more and more of the reality. You know what I'm saying? This is what we did the portion. This is what we did the portion um, saying, beginning off this particular week, week's Torah portion, this uh, Shabbat, the Sendet Ken. <clears throat> and once again, this is the first day. And let's begin this off. Let's start to really ground a little more. There's this particular book, and we're, we're about to update it. Please wait for the update. It'll probably take the next 24 or so hours. We're going to update this particular book. This is our liturgy book, right? And and going through it, there's a couple of typos here and there, and um, some questionable, some minor, not minor things, but, you know, um, being a, I'm not going to say a scholar, but, you know, studying it, there's questions I have for those who produced it originally, but it's based on I and I Ethiopic way, right? Based on the Tuahedo, the, um, the Ritua Hymenot. Also, in choosing names, we're noticing how sometimes we may choose certain names because we like how it sounds. But we really have to recognize that there's a, there's a knowledge, an ilkat, there's a science in the order to it. Yovas and we'll do our part to give one some notes on this or that and all the facts that we can so they can, you know, decide for themselves but decide with knowledge, you know, iron sharpen iron as the scriptures, as Proverbs states. But right here, this is for Sunday, right? Sunday. And this is part of what's called the preparatory service, right? The preparatory service. So as some of what the infants could do, so how do I'm luck? So there are statements um, which are said from um, from Monday to Friday. There's a statement for Saturday, and this is the Ihud or Sunday. So this is the Sos the Shostenya, um, the Illit the Illite, the Illite Ehud, the Yemibal, what is said on Sundays. So first from the Gutters it says, um, Aquilu Zegebra Le Sedik as Adik Awitu Weze Ya Kubur Sen Bete Ia Bel Nafelasi Zegeba Heber Egeziav Her Ye Salat Aninu Im Hizbu Quilu Zegebra Le Sedik Sadik Witu Weze Yakubur Senbete. Right? And then there's a there's a column, that's the first column, then the second column, which is Bamarinya. So we'll read that. This is what the reading will be in in community on fellowship on these particular days. Um see it's the way that's gonna protect us and we want to touch on contingency plans. You know, we hear about the so called rulers and the globalists and the Illuminati or secret societies, royal families, business, business, industry, so forth and so on. They have contingency plans. You know, for saying while they keep the people on bread and circus, they have certain contingency plans. We as Jah's people also must have I and I contingency plans because we all may not be able to, in the first, second, or whichever wave, make it to. Ethiopia or make it to Africa, you understand, before whatever it is, you understand, that is supposed to happen. And there are some great events. Um, we went through Fik uh, Fikari Yesus and, and Brother Manly. Hopefully, you checked this out. You said you went to the page and there was a link up there. That's probably being updated as well because. Um, you know, the labor is much, you know, the harvest is ready, the labors are few, and this is another point, too. Um, and many of the brothers and sisters that have communicated recently, 
the overstand will find that more direct line and contact communication. This is also a message for some of the eyes and because some of the questions that have come in are very interesting, timely, and need to be addressed. You understand? And this is what we mean by the harvest being plentiful. And each question, when I hear the questions and I know either the brothers or sisters or don't know them, but from the spirit, what the spirit of Memphis Caduce um, shows me, you understand? Um, I'm desirous to answer these, but, the, you know, for labors being few and of the, of the laborers being few. You understand? Those of us who are not just doing the work, but, but have that spiritual confidence, because we all are growing. You understand? We have that inborn conception, but in order to bring it to true new birth, Brother Yaakov, well, we just touched on this. I hope you get something out of this lesson right here. Brother Yaakov had asked concerning um, repentance generally and, and perhaps some personal or particular reasoning. If one's want to share this, we want to also seek to produce a radio show. You understand? When we have a radio show, to put it more in a radio format. So perhaps you won't see I and I on, the, on these particular radio broadcasts live, but you'll hear I and I, you'll hear others reasoning, as well as establish some call conferencing. You understand? As per the particular um, committee, you understand? We need to start to gather together, you understand, in different groups. You understand? This is very, you know, the group dynamics is very, very important. So when we're talking about um, tribe, we're not being tribal list or say troublesome in the patois. We're not seeking to be that. But we're looking at Jah's, at, 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 at the glory of his imperial majesty, and we're seeing a foundation for I and ourselves. You understand? And of course, it cannot, it doesn't happen overnight. You understand? The race is not for the swift, but it's for he who can endure until the task is accomplished. But we have to ask ourselves, well, what is that task that is to be accomplished? You understand? In other words, yes, I and I seek to do Jah's will, but what is Jah's will? In other words, what is the big picture? And then what has Jah laid on I and I heart to do? And then who can I um, fellowship with? You understand? And if it might be that maybe there aren't those because there's many brothers and sisters who are in some areas and, and, and you know, we're, we're scattered into corners, you understand? So it's also about um, um, making the, the solitary to dwell in the home. You know that psalm right there? I think it's psalm. Um, um, we're going to get into this a little bit more. You understand? Well, first of all, let's just go over this and we'll get to that psalm and we'll try to follow up. This is kind of an update but it's also to speak to where we're at right now in 2012, looking at the signs that, that we already know are, have, have revealed themselves, and what more, and how do we prepare ourselves. The first thing is getting a spiritual foundation or foundation. That's the key. You understand? Because if one is not confident both in the Almighty and that relationship with the Almighty, with, with our Abba, with our Father in and through that redemption and that new birth in Yeshua HaMoshiach, then everything else that we do, you understand, we're going to lack that confidence. This is why we focus on that subject matter of the faith. You understand, both giving one some of the basic information, you understand, that any faithful and learned Ethiopian, you understand, of the holy Ethiopian days would know, and some Ethiopians probably still know today, but not in the same um, ratio, you understand, because of um, the, the, the great transgression, the rebellion against the king of kings in the present um, state or status of Ethiopia. We also was asked about the land grant. I think it was Brother Manley who asked us about the land grant, who's the current. Um, well, the current land grant administrator would be, according to the proper order, you understand, from whom Dr. Robinson has appointed, you understand, and that is concerning I and I. But I and I is here preparing a people, you understand. Now, there are other, um, you could call it regional, you understand, 
administrators or ones who are functioning in those sort of roles. But we don't want to get too much and speak on that right now, because even in the, in the present Torah portion, um, Devarim, no matter whatever happens, Yehovah said, I and I know, Yehovah said that we got the victory. John already showed us that. So, in regards to the news that you may hear out of Ethiopia, remember the, the true landlord is a Gaziari Hirab. Let, let's just recognize that for a moment. So, no matter what men and people may do, Yehovah said, in truth or in pretense, it's Jah. Yehovah said, it's a Gaziari Hirab. It's Abba. Abba Kedus, the name of Getachin Namit Hanatachin Jesus Christos, who is the landlord. You know, since on that issue of, of, of land grant, you understand, a lot of things have, 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 have gone out of order over all these years, even before many of us were involved. You know, understand, so on one hand, we're seeking to um, resolve issues that are older than even us or our involvement in this particular organization. But we're choosing to, first of all, get our spiritual house in order. And so that, that's, that's the wana wana alama. That's, that's, the main, um, that's the main aim for I and I. It's our divine heritage. You know, to become rooted and grounded in that. You understand? So, with that in mind, let's just read the Amharic of this, and we'll go to the English for what's read on Sundays. So this is a, a Ihud, a first day. This will be the first day message. So um, we hope and pray that ones and ones um, had a beautifully good Shabbat. We're able to go through the um, Sabbath house readings and feedings because though you might not understand everything at once, you have to become familiar with it because it's the Holy Spirit. You know, as one receives that Holy Spirit according to the measure that they're able to receive and as they grow, the, the Holy Spirit will remind them of things that they have read and studied, but it's like a bank. You have to put in to the bank, you know, so that as time goes on, you can withdraw out of that bank. And we're speaking spiritual, you know, and according to the teaching of man. So, Bamarinya, the, um, the Sharat Kedase, the Kedase Sharat, Bamarinya is Siddiqin. Sidikin Yesara Senbetin Ya Kabarem So Hulu Sadik no Wada Egaziavi Hara Am Likot Ye Geba Ka Mitmanana Yelayan Yehon Fetsmo Ibeh Sidikin Yesara Senbetin Ya Kabarem So Hulu Sadik no The Targum of this is blessed is he who does blessed deeds. Blessed is he who does blessed deeds and honors the Sabbath. Let him not question whether he will be outcast from the multitudes if he was to enter into the worship of God, of Egeziavi here, of the sustainer, of Yahweh. Ruku, blessed be he. It says, Blessed is he who does blessed deeds and honors the Sabbath. Now, when we read this Bamarinya and we look at the Gutters, here it says, Blessed. Actually, what it says here is righteous or Siddic. Siddic and Siddic is righteous. All right? And so, what's interesting about, according to our. Um, Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo um, Foundation, the Ritua Hymenos, in the preparatory service for the Kedase, in the preparatory service um, for Ihud, which is today or which is Sunday, or Ihud means the first day. That's when the uh, Christian and the community gathers together after keeping the seventh day. So this is what's very unique about um, Ethiopia, you understand, and maybe this will require a little bit of um, teaching, evidence, and reference so that ones can really um, um, get the truth for themselves. 
because the ones look, look at it from a certain um, Gentile perspective, one gets confused as the Gentiles often do. The old saying where they say, well, the Ethiopians, um, they have, they keep two Sabbaths or something like that. You you hear that sort of talk, but it's not really so. When we understand, first of all, time. You understand know time that evening come before morning. But in the West, it's opposite of that. That's why the Senbet for us begins on Friday Eve, right? Friday Eve. So that means when we get to Saturday Eve, you understand, which is going into the early hours of the morning, you understand, leading to the early hours of what we call Ehud, that's when usually for high holy days and other times the faithful, you understand, gather in, or at least even the priests, you understand, those who are functioning um, in the um, the responsibility in the community. And, and even the whole idea of priest needs to be understood because we all are priests, you understand, according to the Hadith Kidan. But that doesn't mean that we all are qualified to, to um, maybe lead a service or lead a gathering or to teach or to preach. Like some are better preachers, they are proclaimers, but they are not the they are not the teachers. You understand? So you have the teachers who know, and you have some who are proclaimers and teachers. Like you have some who read in tongues. You understand? In the lisan and the goose and the guest and in the goodness. You understand? But they are not able to translate. You understand? But they are able to read. You understand? That's why Hawari Yabalos. I think it is. Um, is it second? Is it second um, Corinthians? Where it gives us church order. You understand? Know church order. And I don't know how you look at church, but I know that in my own study and growth, the more I learn the word, the more I recognize what church is supposed to be. You know what I'm According to the word and according to the, the, the best Ethiopic and our Ethiopian Hebrew example of church, it comes out of the synagogue because we were kicked out of the synagogues. That's why if you look at the Kedase and you study it, and if you study um, the, the, um, the uh, Kaddish, what's called the Kaddish in, in, in the Yiddish and the Hebrew, which is uh, another way of saying Kiddush, you understand, um, you will find that the language is similar. You understand, the language is similar. And we also have to recognize that in the, we have the tabernacle of, of, of Moses, right? And then we have the tabernacle of David. So we have to also see the differences between the tabernacle of Moses and the tabernacle of um, David. So it's, it's, it's 1 Corinthians, let's go right here and just give you this as a reference point. 1 Corinthians chapter... I think it's chapter, or oh, the chapter 14, First Corinthians chapter 14. Yes, First Corinthians chapter 14. If you look at the second part of the chapter, it speaks about the order of the ministry of gifts in the local church. That means each of us have a particular gift. We can say each of us has a particular strong point or each of us has something in particular to um, contribute. Now some might say, well, I don't see what I have to contribute. Well, you might not see at that at the present time. So it's like with, with, with the farm. You have the harvesters or, or the reapers, and you have the gleaners. You, you know, and we don't have time to go into that, but the Book of Ruth is, is quite excellent in that regard if you study it and see it in its proper context. But the, Harvesters are those who harvest the land. But now that which is left behind is allowed to be gleaned. It's, it's like the parts that fall out of the bundles or, or the parts that are left behind. You know, in other words, the poor would, would, would glean, like, like the Adis Christian would glean that part right there, or those who are coming into um, their gifts or who are growing. And there's no rush. This is one thing we hope that what we're saying and how we're ministering does not make one think that it's, a, it, it, it's by human effort.
the past thing that's what's getting us a lot of times um, um, mixed up, you know what I'm saying, or even hurting us, you know what I'm saying, on a certain level, thinking that there's a rush. But neither is there a passivity that turns into a laziness. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's a transformation of the mind. But at the same time, a nonconformity to the world. You know what I'm saying? And the brother also asked a question about um, um, Debtera. I think they wanted to get into the etymology in the Ethiopic of Debtera, which is very interesting. But I'll say this the Debtera. Right? This is a smaller one. You know what I'm saying? This is why I use sometimes a pocket one. You know, a book like this. You know, what they call this uh, spiral fat book. So these little fat books would be like a little fat, <laughs> a little fat debt to the, You know what I'm saying? Usually what we recommend is the, is the black and white composition notebooks. So a debt to, excuse me, a debt to, a fat debt to, Right? But it's like a mini pocket book and we use this to write notes you understand, or to jot down other information, you understand, just some ready information, like we have some notes here, even for some of the um, lectures or reasonings or things to share with some particular members or share with the, the, the gubaye, you know, the assembly, you understand, or the, um, yeah, the general I assembly, if we would say. All right, so Right here, chapter 14, 14, yeah, chapter 14 of 1 Corinthians, and also elsewhere, um, it lays out the operation, how, how a, 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 a church in that sense, because remember this word for church comes from ecle ecclesia, ekkalio, they were called out because they were pushed out, and were pushed out because of Yeshua. Like many of I and I's Rastafari are pushed out from um, so-called nominal Christian um, gatherings or groups because we're speaking of His Majesty, you understand? Or we might be speaking of Ethiopia or I and I being Ethiopian Hebrew. So we might be able to pass through some of these churches, but we can't really uh, um, truly fellowship and, and 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 have a spiritual home. But if you are able to have a spiritual home or one that feeds you, you understand, you're learning and growing, then by all means, brothers and sisters, please, you understand, take advantage. It's like if there's a meal there and it's good food, eat. You understand, eat. Um, now, let's just go through this right here. So we want to point to that chapter right there. All right, because some of this is on I and I mind, and, you know, it says to... Um, um, redeem the time because the days are evil. And we know we're living in these 2012 evil days. So we got to ask ourselves, so what is the what is the contingency that we have? You understand? Um, and there's a couple of notes and the points on that that I'd like to share. You understand? With you all. We all might not. In fact, there are some brothers and sisters right now um, from I and I group who are um, Heading towards, you know, heading to Africa, you know, saying within the next um, two or three months, and even on a six month, you know, saying some have not um, decided exactly when, but they are in, in various stages of preparation, you know, saying, and not all to Ethiopia, you know, saying not all are, are the destination or initial destination is Ethiopia. Some, the initial destination is Ethiopia, but there, there's other communities and brethren and sisterin in Africa. You know, since some of those are like the advance. You know, saying they're like the advance, um, how can we say, um, um, guard. They're on point in that sense. You know, and we're trying to encourage other brothers and sisters, you know, who are able to and who seek to fellowship with this society of His Majesty, you understand, to also um, step forward or coordinate with I and I, you understand, and see whom they might be able to coordinate with. But remember, the foundation, the foundation is spiritual, you understand, it's a, it's a spiritual foundation and foundation. Things that, and, and certain attitudes and sentiments that are blatantly and overtly um, um, 
uh, disagreeable to the teaching of his majesty. I and I cannot fellowship with that. That will be like a lie. You know what I'm saying? I mean, ignorance is one thing. We're all ignorant of some things, some things we don't know. Though the most ignorant would not admit that they might be ignorant of something. You understand? We're all ignorant of some things. You understand? But when the opportunity to learn, you understand, or trust and verify, we have to do our own work. We have to be able to do our homework. You understand? So when we come to the, you know, when we gather and work in teams, you understand, this is one of the most challenging, I would say, parts of the mission or assignment, you understand, is working with the individual brothers and sisters, you understand, and in a sense, spiritually getting them up to speed or encouraging them to receive the Spirit, because when they receive the Holy Spirit and when they receive that new birth and they grow and they really, you know, when one re really receives it, you know, it's, it's, it's there's, there's a, there's a, there's a dynamism to that. You understand? It's like a boom. It's like a boom shock. You understand? I mean, they know. It's almost like when a, when one of these planes come overhead, right? Um, and they and they burst the sound barrier. You know, like they make that sonic boom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might not know where it's at. Like they say, one who moves in the spirit, you know where they're coming from, where they're going to, because they're moving with that spirit. That's not being um, you know, like um, being disingenuous. Some might say, "Yeah, I'm spiritual," because you know, no, there's there's playing, you know, you know, playing important, but they're not really fellowshipping and coordinating with others in um, in, 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 in building, you know, saying building his house. You, you know, saying they're not they're, they're not functioning as members of the body. You know, saying members. So we are a corporate body and we, we should never forget that in the head is Christos. The head is Jesus Christos, the glory of our Father. You understand? So this is also our name as Rastafari. You understand? We recognize that name Rastafari. We have to recognize what is the true order or authority, you understand, to operate in the spiritual kingdom, you understand, as that kingdom of the priests. You understand of the true and spiritual and faithful priest. You understand of the order of his majesty. So right here, um, this is the word, and then the people are to respond. Right, the people respond, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. If there be any one of the faithful that have entered the church at the time of the mass or the kadase or the um, uh, kadish, the holy right, the liturgy, you can say, and hath not heard the Holy Scriptures, and hath not waited until they finish the prayer of the Kedase or Mass, and hath not received the Holy Communion, the common union, let him be driven out of the church. Let him be tri driven out of that house of the anointed ones, right, because they are out of order. Right? It says, For he hath violated the law of God, the law of Egeziabihir, and disdained to stand before the heavenly king, the king of the body and spirit. This is, this the apostles have taught us in their canons, you know, or in what we call the apostles, the teaching of the apostles. Now, um, um, in Goethe's, this is in Goethe's and in Amharic as well. And, and since we're not going to do a teaching on this right now, let's just affirm why we decided to, to begin this vid right here and touch mainly on this as well as some timely and related points. It's because we, we noticed that, okay, there's a reading for Monday to Friday, there's a reading on Saturday. And then there's the reading on Sunday. Now, Sunday is the first day of the week, right? And the first day of the week is when the faithful who have kept the seventh day of the week often gather. You understand? Now, in Yeshua or in the Yeshus, we gather in that sense in the Beta Christiana. We have gathered during the church age in the Beta Christiana. But what is very beautiful about the um, 
Ethiopic Kedase uh, uh, is that it speaks on Sunday about those who have not kept the Sabbath. Now, some would say, well, uh, the Sunday is the Sabbath, and this is getting into a whole different sort of reasoning, but that's not so, because Ethiopia is one of the few, it's the only Christian churches in the world that kept the Saturday Sabbath and also Sunday worship. But you, but you know what? If you really study true Judaism, you understand? The, the Hebrews and the Jews would do the same thing. They would keep the Sabbath, you understand? And then and when, 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 when the Sabbath was over, which is leading into the Sunday, they would gather. Sometimes you can read it in the Bible where Hawari Apollos was teaching on the Sabbath day, and he kept teaching all the way into the Sunday. That's why they put the collections, in the other words, on Sunday. You understand? That's why certain business looking ahead, looking forward. You said even worship, of course, when 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 the Kedusan or the Holy Ones got together, it was praise, it was worship, it was a revelation. So I want you to understand how the Sabbath and first day worship or first day gathering goes together, you understand, in and according to our true faith. You understand, in and according to our true faith. So when we were reading over this, could we we have um, updated this? Could we see in some of the Ethiopic books they have a lot of the the the, the, the Romanist, you understand the um, the Romanist images. In other words, the Caesar Borgias images, the other kind of images, these whitewashed images. In other words, so um, we decided, you understand, what's already been decided that we will not. Um, bow to blasphemy. So in our publications, except for teaching or example, we are weeding those things out, you understand, of our publications or publications that we publish on this particular press. You understand, because it's like telling a lie. You understand, we're not going to put the whitewashed picture, you understand, within our prayer books. You understand, so this book in particular is being updated. You know, and you'll find this, you know, saying, um, and that's that Kabbalistic Lalibella um, Mescal or cross right there, right? So we're updating this. and It's actually been updated, but it's, it has gone to press, in other words. We don't have the, 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 the finished copy, you know, saying, but it'll be of even a far superior quality, you know, saying, especially in content and content and the in the particular type font style. Um, this one here, um, if you look really close, it, there's a little bit of pixel on it, but it, it comes out all right. But this the new one is going to be much smoother, yeah, willing. So that we're working on for this um, this summit or this week forward. But then the Holy Spirit has been on I and I um, heart and mind concerning. Um, especially after uh, translating and retypesetting um, Ficari, uh, Ficari Yeses, you understand, where it speaks of, um, you know, what shall be in these latter days and times, you know, and, and um, the relationship with that little book to His Majesty, of course, that's a, that's a point of interest in itself, you understand, but then recognizing, going through the translation as we have, because we read through it before, generally speaking, but in going through the typeset was once reading through it. You know, when you're typing something out, you have to read it. You know what I'm saying? And then in going through the translation of Fikari Yesu. So let me just um, uh, present here's the book right here. The Fikari Yesu. Let that be light. All right? Going through the Fikari Yesu. Right? And Brother Manley and others. Okay, this book might not be, maybe it has not been updated as of yet. What you could do is go to the Lulu, right, lulu.com, right? And then you can put um, the spelling that we utilize, F-I-K-A-R-E-I-Y-E-S-U-S. -E -E you should be able to put that in the search. And since it's Ethiopic, we have... Um, you know, we have a kind of variety of ways that we can um, um, 
transcribe it in the Latin, since the Latin is not really all that, the, the, the Gentile language is not all that precise. So there's a couple of different ways that we can, um, you know, write it in um, transliteration, as it's called. But in going through this particular book right here, it just showed I and I even more and more that we need to speak on um, what are our contingency plans of um, of um, surviving, the being the Tirufan. Because if you if you uh, write that Tirufan, T T I R U F A N, but really if you can write it in the Fidels of these and better, but the Tirufan, right, are the survivors. You understand the survivors. I mean, please do not make any mistake in uh, pretending or assuming that Planet X or Nibiru, you understand, is not uh, a reality. And also make no mistake about it that Yah has already set a protection for his faithful people. Because his faithful people at those times are going to be doing what the faith requires them to do, and it's the faith, which is the way, the truth, and the life that will provide that protection for us. So when we talk about keeping the Sabbath, we don't, you know, Friday nights we're not going out to no parties or whatnot like that. And we really should not be planning any really events unless they are associated, you know, saying, with our faith. At those times, I know there's Babylon and parties and reggae dance and so forth and so on, but y'all got to work that out. You know, and that's not really for us. I and I have decided, you understand, to follow the King of Kings. As Moses says, I put before you two ways, right? A way of life and a way of death. So choose ye. You know, and it's our choice. So because as many are called, right? But the few choose the right way. You know, and we pray that more than a few of the I and them will choose the right or the righteous way. And that's what makes it very interesting about this um um the liturgy book of the Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahido Church right here is when it gives the preparatory, you understand, know the preparatory um service, the Shir Ata the Kadase or Ye Kadu Ye Shur'at for Sunday when it says blessed or really a better turgum or translation of a Siddiq. Siddiq is um righteousness and Sadiq is righteous, so they have they translated it as blessed, but really it's not it would not be blessed in that sense, but it would be um, righteous is he who does um, righteousness deeds and honors the Shabbat, honors the Senbet. Let him not question, right? Let him not question whether he will be outcast from the multitudes if he was to enter into the worship of God. Don't, don't, don't question it. That's interesting right there. That it mentions that, so it's like on Sunday, the day after, the first day in the week. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the Alpha Omega. You know what I'm saying? It's the seventh day, and it's that first day, which is very important from an Ethiopic, from our divine heritage. You know what I'm saying? According to our divine heritage. So it says, um, blessed, but that should be righteous is he who does um, righteousness deeds and honors the, the Sabbath. So that now that's said by the um the um the priest, right? Or those who are officiating um the the service, the Angel Galot, right? And the people would reply, Hallelujah, if there be any one of the faithful, if there be any one of the faithful that has that has entered the church at the time of the Kedase and have not heard the Holy Scriptures and have not waited until they finished the prayer of the Kedase or Mass and have not received the Holy Communion, let him be driven out of the church, for he hath violated the law of Egziabiher 
lotus of heart, and disdained, and disdained to stand before the heavenly king, the king of the body and spirit. This the apostles have taught us in their canon. Now, not to go into too much detail on that, but the basic idea is this, is that there's an order. And it says that even if one of the righteous Yovazan or one of the rather Mitmanan has has come into the service and has not in a sense heard the whole thing, Yovazan, one should kind of like stand stand down in other words. Yovazan. But if they have entered in, Yovazan, like out of order. So what is what is really the, the Shur art or the Sir art means order. Same word as we have gone over in past um, lessons, and that can be translated as um, or compared with the word seder. The word seder in the Ibrahis in the in, in the in the Hebrew. Now, um, with that being said. Mm. We want to go to um, reason on where we're at right now with our contingency plans. This is a little message for the for the Ehud or Rastafari Ehud, you understand. And the prerequisite really is keeping the sendent or keeping the Shabbat, as we already went through this particular document here, you understand, it tells you, right, this particular document tells you it right there, all right, my brothers and sisters, all right, Shalom Rastafari.